Hey, Dr. Dan Ritchie, how are you, sir? I am good. How are you, Jackie? Good. Hey, I'm greeting you here from Houston, Texas, and I want you to know, if you missed it, this is the home of the new world champion, World Series champion, Houston Astros. I did not miss it. In fact, I stayed up and watched the whole game. Uh, my son was quite into it, even though he was quite brokenhearted that his Cubs were not in it again this year. But uh, right. we know the joy everyone in Houston must be feeling because we felt it for the first time in 100 years last year. So uh, happy for happy for all you folks in Houston. You guys deserve a little happiness. Yeah, for sure. It's been a, a tough summer for us, tough fall. So uh, the parade's going on right now as you and I are doing this interview. Oh, it is. All right. Yeah, all right. Yep. the exciting, exciting stuff. I'm sure there's over a million people. I'm sure it's a big, big deal. Well, and what's crazy is it's downtown, and they have this monster quilt show that happens every year here, and that's going on too. So there's like 10,000 quilters at the convention center, and then, you know, half of Houston at the parade. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to be here interviewing you right now. I'm just going to tell you that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Looking forward to it. So um, for those of you who are just tuning in with us here today, um, I would like to introduce you to my coach and uh, mentor, uh, the co-founder of the Functional Aging Institute. I'm with Dr. Dan Ritchie today, and we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, talking about the Functional Aging Institute and something that Dan lovingly calls the fat model. So, um, Dan, if uh, Dan and I met, just to give you guys a little background, we met back in July, June or July of 2016 when I went to the Functional Aging Summit in Mesa. Is that the right year, 16? Yep, it's yep, Mesa. 2016. And I have to tell you, Dan, I was really, I think I've told you this story before, but I was really, really excited when I stumbled onto the website about the FAI Summit because I had just started my business. And I knew in my heart that there was a need um, to train the 50 and better population. So when I stumbled onto the FAI Summit website and I started reading all of the information that you guys had out there about the summit, I was really excited because it kind of validated um, what I knew was to be important. So um, I knew that there was a niche for a need for trainers to train the 50 and better population. But if you would tell me a little bit about the Functional Aging Institute and your why for how you and Cody, you know, kind of got it up and running and what you thought the need was. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm so glad you did come to the Functional Aging Summit uh, in June of 2016, and we've had so many trainers over the three years come to that event. The, the Functional Aging Institute really uh, came about uh, over a number of years. Cody and I met in uh, 2002 at Purdue University. Uh, we both uh, were working on PhDs in kinesiology with a focus on gerontology, which is the study of aging. Uh, in fact, we were those guys that said, yeah, we want to try to knock grandmas down and do power training and and uh, obstacle courses. And then, of course, Purdue University said, you're going to do what to 70-year-old ladies? We said, well, we're going to do balance courses, and we're going to do power and explosive movements. And, of course, you start saying explosive movements to research boards. They go, you're not doing that with old ladies, are you? So that is sort of where we met and how we got started. Um, fast forward about five years down the road, we opened our own personal training studio. Because we looked around, we spoke across the fitness industry for several years, and we said, hey, nobody's paying any attention to how our country is growing older. Nobody's paying any attention to how baby boomers are coming, and we're going to soon have 80 million people in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, and the fitness industry is just ignoring that population, not to mention they were already ignoring what we called our traditional seniors, so people that are now 70 plus. Uh, so we opened a personal training studio, uh, Miracles Fitness, um, but we really, we really had a vision for something much bigger. We said, we need to train thousands of trainers to, to do what we've learned at Purdue University and, and to implement some of the crazy things we were doing in our research, right? Um, like, why would you ever do an explosive leg press with a Kaiser piece of equipment with someone in their 70s and 80s? Um, because it's really important to have power so you can climb stairs and get out of a chair and all those sorts of things. And so the Functional Aging Institute was born in 2013 really with our big mission of we want to certify and educate 10,000 trainers uh, around the world 
Uh, we're up to 3,000 trainers now in 17 countries, so that's really that's exciting. Um, and the, the aging opportunity is not going away. Uh, we're going to have a massive population in the U.S. Uh, and globally uh, that needs fitness, uh, needs people just like you, Jackie, that are functional aging specialists saying, hey, I know how to train someone in their 50s for the best whatever it is they want to do. I know how to train someone in their 60s, in their 70s, in their 80s, in their 90s to be able to be their best, right? And that's really what the Functional Aging Institute's all about. So we have, a, I mean, there's, there's fitness opportunities in every city and almost every corner. They all have a different look and a feel. Um, explain to people that, that might not even be familiar, like my non-clients that could watch this, um, why would they want to look for somebody like me, like a functional aging specialist? How do I differ? How does this whole model differ from the guy on the corner? The other yeah. guy, the other corner. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of fitness opportunities, right? I mean, there's health clubs, there's YMCA's, there's community centers. In fact, now we have uh, apartment complexes being built with fitness centers, which is great. We have access to fitness equipment, which is so funny, right? If we think 100 years ago, people would have been like, what on earth is all this fitness equipment, right? I mean, people used to actually move and have to move for a living. Now we sit too much. We're too sedentary. And so people need to move more. But the question really is for someone in their 50s, 60s, and 70s, what's, what's the most appropriate movement? What's the safest movement? What's the most effective movement? Like, what should you be doing for training? Um, well, the average fitness professional really has no idea what to do with someone over the age of 50, right? They don't know how the knees have changed, how the spine and the back has changed, disc degeneration. They don't know about health conditions. Uh, the average person over the age of 50 is going to have one or two chronic health conditions. And the average personal trainer is just not really equipped for that, right? They're, they're well designed to help someone get fit. They're well designed to help someone work out. They're well designed to help someone lose weight, but they're not well designed or well educated um, to really give someone an optimal workout in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, right? And so a functional aging specialist has the tools, has the training model, has the philosophy that we spent about 10 years honing through research, science, and, and basically testing it out on about 2,000 clients, has that training philosophy, has that model, so they can train people for the best results, right? So it's quite a bit different than just, I'm going to go find a trainer, he's going to give me a workout. Right? Or I'm going to go find a trainer and they're going to teach me how to use a treadmill. Or I'm going to go to a gym and I'm going to use a bunch of fancy expensive equipment. But what if you're using the wrong equipment? What if you're using the equipment in the wrong way? What if you're using equipment you shouldn't even be using at all? Right? That wasn't even well designed for what it is you want to do. In fact, when you start to dig into the functional aging training model, you realize we start telling people, get off of some of the equipment and use your body weight. Use your own standing weight. Stand on your own two feet. Right. So um, so it's a little bit different than the traditional fitness program. And so it's really important. I don't care what age you are. Right. If you're a 20 year old athlete, you should be seeking out someone that knows how to train 20 year old athletes. If you're a 35 year old woman that wants to lose weight, you should be seeking out a trainer that knows how to train women that want to lose weight. If you're a 62 year old grandfather that wants to hit the golf ball farther and be able to go hiking with his granddaughter, you should seek out a trainer that knows how to do that. And so. For everyone listening right now that's saying, hey, I've never considered working with a functional aging specialist, they absolutely should come see you, Jackie, just to experience what it is you do, how you do it, and how you know how to do it. Great. Dan, I know that, that you've trained a lot of clients at Miracles Fitness, and I know that, you know, through your training model and through the Functional Aging Institute, there's now virtually thousands of people that have been impacted. I know you have a lot of functional aging specialists um, telling you great client stories. Do you have like a favorite, like we're kind of short on time, but one quick favorite that you can lob out there to me? Oh man, I don't have one favorite. I probably have seven, 17 I know, favorites. I, know. I mean, I've heard your stories and they're great, but you got to There's so many. One. There's so many. I mean, there's one I think back here at Miracles Fitness. We had a, a guy in his 70s who had Parkinson's. And it was really interesting because his trainer actually was someone that wanted to train athletes. Um, and he had done his master's degree at Purdue. He had been a track athlete and a shot putter. I mean, if you think the classic sort of 6'2", 250-pound sort of muscle head kind of guy, right? And um, he just fell in love with personal training and working in our facility. And here he is working with this, I think he was 74 at the time. The guy had Parkinson's. And, 
and they're doing very basic stuff, right? I mean, he's struggling with just walking in the door, right? And I remember a couple weeks in, I think there may be six to, somewhere in the sixth to tenth week, um, he pops out of a chair, right? I mean, they're doing some chair squat stuff, and he just gets up, boom, fast, right? And he was even like, wow, I haven't gotten out of a chair in years, right? And even his wife came over, and she was like, let me see him do that again, right? And, uh, and she was, like, blown away. <laughs> it was so funny because later Tyler came up to me, and he's like, he's, like, I, he's like, I never really realized how cool this could be to train older adults. He's like, I was choking back tears as this guy's getting up and telling me he hasn't gotten out of a chair without help or using arms, right, in several years. Right? Wow. So, so just an example like that, right? I mean, here's someone with Parkinson's in their 70s who you would think, it's only going to be downhill from here, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, he's like, wow, I just popped out of a chair. I haven't done that in years, right? Okay. And so he wound up training with us for two more years, and then that trainer eventually did open up a uh, more sports performance place in Indianapolis. Um, but that's still a story he still cherishes and remembers. And that client continued to train with us after Tyler left for several more years. So, so stories like that are just um, one of many. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of... Recently, I was in Canada training trainers, and the cool story they shared with me was a client that got to take his granddaughter hiking in the mountains, and he didn't know if he'd ever be able to do that, if he'd have the stamina, the endurance, just the ability to enjoy it, and he said they absolutely had a trip of a lifetime, right? Awesome. Those are awesome. I have a couple cool stories like that, too, and it does. It, those, are, those are the gut stories that stay with you for a lifetime. So, oh, yeah, for sure. So we are kind of running short of time here, Dan. Do you have anything else that you that you want to, any wisdom you want to impart before we sign off today? Well, I think for, for most people listening, um, the thing, the, the key takeaway is to think about function uh, first as opposed to fitness, right? Sometimes people think, oh, fitness, personal training, Jackie just wants to make me sweat and, you know. <laughs> But really what you want to do is help people move better, feel better, live better, do all the things they want to do. And so as a functional aging specialist, your first and primary purpose is to help people function better, right? And that's, that's foundational for everything we do and everything we teach trainers, right? If we can teach people to function better and move better, we know they're going to have a better quality of life, right? And so fitness is important, but to us it's almost secondary, right? It's sort of like we want to make people more functional. We want to make their bodies work better. Um, and so when someone comes to see you, essentially what you're doing is you're, you're training their entire system, their entire physique from head to toe, right? How do I have better balance? How do I have better coordination? How do I have better power? How do I control my body better, right? right. If all of those things improve, then everything in life improves, right? And Absolutely. it really doesn't even matter what your goal is, right? If your goal is to, to be able to enjoy the parade, right, which is probably a wild party, well, you probably have to have some stamina, probably have to be able to walk a fair amount of distance, probably have to have some good balance, because guess what? People are going to be bumping into you. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have energy, right? So if we want to be able to enjoy all the things that life has to offer, we have to be more functional. And so that's really the, the unique focus that you bring. Um, the fitness will come, but it's really the function that's so important. And that, that's really what we're about. We, we really believe if people are functional and, and function well in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, then life is, is really amazing, right? I mean, we can enjoy all sorts of things. So, so that, to me, is sort of the, the big thing that it's all about and, and why we're so excited to be helping more trainers like you because we know as you impact 50 to 100 lives in your community, keeping them more functional, they're going to impact more people in their family and their generations as well. I have to just tell you before we go, I've stopped telling people I'm a personal trainer and I only tell them I'm a functional aging specialist now because I think when I tell them I'm a personal trainer, they're like, oh, right. I'm going to get right. rid of this belly someday or, right. you know, yeah, they exactly. immediately jump into that weight loss thing yep, and exactly. uh, the mission like, is oh, so did you just see me eat a piece of candy? It was Halloween. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So, yep, yep. hey, well, I know that you've got a lot on your plate today. I really want to thank you for taking time to visit with me today and share the Functional Aging Institute and the and the fat training model. Um, yeah, absolutely. Shake your time. The Functional um, and I'm hoping... Aging Training Model, yep. Yeah, yeah it's my, my pleasure. And, and for those of you listening, if you haven't uh, checked out Jackie's Place, if you haven't trained with her, if you're on the fence, um, just try a session. I mean, it, it's not 
that scary to try a session. The interesting thing is some people immediately within one session can see how, wow, I can move better, I can control my body better, she can teach me a variety of things um, so that life can get easier and more enjoyable. So if you have never worked with a functional aging specialist, um, now's the time. Now's the time. Absolutely. Well, we thank you very much. Um, maybe we'll see you in the World Series next year. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great weekend, Dan.